Hi everyone, it's Grizz. We're back in the garage, back for some more fun with Bertha. Um, not a lot more to do now on the build, um, but something that I really do want to do because it's a cheap fix is um, rebuild the front brake master cylinder. Now my reason for doing this is that when I first bought the bike, the brakes were absolutely appalling. Um, I've gone part of the way by fitting braided brake lines on there and replacing the standard brake lines that were on there. Um, but I also want to do a, a quick rebuild of this front master cylinder because I think it will go a long way to improving the efficiency of these brakes. There's lots of upgrades I could do. I could go on and do things like a Brembo brake upgrade, but that's lots of money. That's not in the budget. I've um, spent more than enough on this bike. So I'm gonna keep it simple, keep the cost down. It's about 20 pounds for the rebuild kit for the um, master cylinder. So that is a real simple, cheap, uh, job to do which probably this bike does need it's uh, 2008 so it's what is it 12 years old um, I strongly suspect this master cylinder needs replacing and I think as I said before it's quite a common fault on the Hayabusa as well so let's do that let's strip it down um, I've already emptied out the fluid I've already loosened off some of the nuts and bolts just to speed things up a bit but let's get this master cylinder off and have a look at it and get it stripped down. And I'll show you the kit in a sec as well. Let's do it. Right, that is the master cylinder off. There it is. I'm just gonna check over all the components that I took off and make sure they're fit for reuse. That is the bracket which goes on the opposite side for refitting or fitting it onto the bar, should I say. That is fine. So are the two bolts, fine. The lever is good. Uh, needs a little bit of a cleanup, but I can sort that out along with the lever uh, bolt as well. And just give that a clean up and regrease it that'll be fine for reuse the actual master cylinder itself not terrible it's not terribly corroded or anything hopefully it's not going to be too bad getting the circlip out i've got a little bit of uh, penetrative fluid there which i'll chuck in there just to make sure we can get that circlip out for getting the circlip out as well you want some circlip pliers um like a nice straight nose flat nose so they fit inside the circlip like so for taking off and putting in the new circlip so let's get it stripped down what else have I've got I've got a bit of breaking well breaking chain cleaner by Silclean thanks guys for that I will just basically give it all a clean up before um, that goes back together I'll take the cap off as well uh, so we can give it a proper clean out and also for reassembly we've got a nice wad of red uh, castrol grease so that's good for your rubbers um, but it's also good for reassembly of all this and getting it all moving nice and smoothly i've got a tiny little uh, screwdriver as well which will probably help me on reassembly and i've also got a uh, vice which i'm going to put the master cylinder in so let's get that set up and let's get this uh, apart. First things first, I'm gonna get out, can you see in there? That rubber seal, this rubber seal needs to come out. Can you see that? Uh, it sits in there like so, there it is. Can I show you? Like so, and it's flipping raining now outside and I've got to get the Ducati in because it's getting soaking wet. Right. Um, so there it is. That is the rubber seal off. Oh, it doesn't want to come off. Rubber seal. Oh, there it goes. That's the old rubber seal off. And now we can, there's not really much dirt or corrosion down there. And we can get that circlip out. Anyway, I'm going to get my Ducati in before it gets flipping soaked. Back in a sec. What a plonker. She got wet. Oh dear, never mind. 
um, I'll have to give it a chamois down with one of my dry cloths. Anyway, back to the Busa. Busa! Get it on! Right, Busa, let's get back to the Busa. Right, it's also worth noting, I was just comparing this rubber dust seal that I just took off the top of that, that cylinder here on the master cylinder, took that one off. Right, I was thinking, oh, that's strange, there's no like, no like hole. And to realise that there's actually another little rubber seal um, inside there. So yeah, there is an actual hole going straight through. So there's one, two pieces of rubber in that kit that comes. So let's get it stripped down and get out this um, circlet which is inside there if I can even show you <clears throat> on a good angle right let's do it right these appear to be just a bit too too fat to go in the hole that makes sense these are just a little bit thinner so uh, I'm gonna use these gonna swap over these uh, parts of the circlet pliers because these fit in the holes better Right, it's so a thinner nosed ones, pliers there, circlet pliers. Hopefully I can get, get it out now. He says, let's hope. No, doesn't like it. I don't know why, it just doesn't seem very happy in here, locating those holes. I'm starting to think my circlet pliers are rubbish because I can't get it in the whole story of my life. Ah, oh, geez. Right, it's also a good idea if you push this down as well before trying to get that sewer clip out. Nearly. Oh, we got it. Wow. But look at the state of these circlet pliers they're not really very strong these um laser <laughs> laser circlet pliers they're just not strong enough i was trying to use these on taffy's um bike to get out the baffle and they kept bending so not really any good for strong circlets and i don't really imagine that one is a super strong circlet but it's out what a miracle. I didn't think that was going to come out. Getting it back in should be fun though. Right, let's um, change over the internals of the master cylinder. So now let's take out this one. That's the first bit. So circlip that bit. I'm going to lay them out in the order I took them out over here. I'll show you in a sec. Um, we've got some fluid along with a rubber seal we need to get that out I think I'm gonna take it out at the vice and get it on the worktop and show you so first bit we got out was the rubber seal on the top let's put that one there there then oh no we got the circlip out just flipping miracle that one there then that one came out like so that one there so let's put these others in that same order do it methodically, do it slowly, take your time and hopefully get it right. I think it goes in that order, but let's have a look. Let's get the master cylinder out of the vise. So let's take off the cap, dead easy, cut the screws. One, two, take the cap off plastic bit, rubber bit, okay, that's the inside, all nice and clean, right, let's get out now, there is the rubber bit in there, can we see that, can I get it on the right angle for you, so there's a rubbery seal in here, that needs to come out, I'll just push it out, the screwdriver, he's out, there we go, so, that is how it all comes out, like so. We got the spring with this rubber end put onto the end here, like so. It's got a little 
little nib and a little hole on the top of the spring so that locates that rubber on there but we're going to replace all that so I'll lay it out in the order it all came out like so and then we'll rebuild it in the same way now I've got nothing here showing anything to do with this metal, wa metal washer so I'm just going to have a look um, through some manuals online and check that there's um, not it's not missing a washer because there's no washer in there in this original one so I'm going to just do a double check and have a look and see if there should be that washer in this original one but so far that's all I have minus that washer so let's have a look i'm gonna have a look online see what i can see right so i've had a look at lot online this is the old one this is the new one and if you look at them one is just very slightly probably looks exaggerated on the camera but one is shorter than the other um, and if you don't hit your elbow on the voice ow, um yeah they both if you put the washer on they both kind of line up ish as much as i can demonstrate to you on a camera like this but i think basically that is what the camera is maybe this is more of like a, a universal kit and they chuck a washer in this isn't from suzuki this is one i've bought online um, but there are kits out there with the washer included so i think that's the way that goes on uh, from what i can tell online and you put the circlip uh, Put the serial clip over the top like so so that's what i'm gonna do so let's get on with it let's get it done so i'm gonna use some sil clean brake and chain cleaner did a really good job on all my brake components so far so gonna clean up all of these bits just get them all nice and clean clean out any dirt that's inside that barrel and uh, get it ready for fitting up let's do it <laughs> Okay, so the master cylinder back in the vise. Now to get the red rubber grease out and grease things up a little. Um, first things first, first part in is the spring and 
this little kind of rubber washer which has a little attachment there which we can just put in on the top like so push it on that is on I'm gonna put a little bit of grease just around the outside here don't need much just a tiny bit like so let's pop that one in first one in and then we got this part let's get the rubber seal on the top the dust cover like so make sure it's seated properly which it is and I'm gonna put some grease on the inside of it as well E voila, and around this rubber part as well again on the actual well don't know what you call it really but yeah there's a piece of rubber there I'm gonna get some grease on there I'm trying to get too much grease on this um, I'm gonna push that one home as well and also I need to actually I need to put that washer on like so I'm going to put that on last. <clears throat> I need to get that in and then the circlip on top and then I can put the rubber washer on the top of that. So let's push this in and get the circlip in place. Right, so I've placed the circlip on the pliers. Let's hope these uh, circuit pliers comply now. I'm going to push the piston down and oh now I need to do it that way. Push it down, eh, that didn't work did it? Get it on, push that one down, Com uh, compress it, that didn't go to plan at all. I think these circuit pliers are kind of Definitely not strong enough, man enough for the job. This could be interesting. No, they really, oh, was I lucky? Did it go in? Now that's kind of in actually. Let's just make sure. That looks good. Right, I think that is home now. So I'm happy with that. Now I'm gonna get this rubber seal on, which could be interesting. It seemed easier doing it the other way. <laughs> bit fiddly. Let's get a bit more grease in there. That's it, that's better. Right, just to make sure that is kind of pushed in place properly. Sorry, I think I did that a bit off camera. I think it needs to go down a tiny bit. Be very careful when you're pushing this rubber down not to damage the rubber. It's only just like a light, soft press. But anyway, that is it. Can you see that? How well can you see that? That is all, all done. All good, I believe. So let's get it rebuilt and back on the bike. Job done. All right, I'm just gonna give it a little light wipe down with some WD-40 just to um, condition that metal a little bit and just make sure everything's nice and clean. Careful not to get anything now into the, into the actual reservoir. Um, Shouldn't really matter too much because we're going to bleed it out anyway, but we'll try to keep it nice and clean and free from any contaminants.
right already now to go back on the bike something that I do want to pay attention to is just this little connector sorry for the uh, brake switch I'm just going to chuck a little bit of grease proof anti-corrosion corrosion block grease it's like blue but um, I used it a lot on the bearings but it's also I think quite good to prevent any further corrosion on those tiny little connectors so I'm just going to chuck a little bit in there not loads just enough to um, to stop any future corrosion let's get that one on the switch done and let's get one all in place now So that is the uh, front master cylinder done, sorted. Um, I've got to bleed the system out, so I'll do that, but I won't do it on camera because it's a long process. And I've shown you already in the previous video when I did the rear brake, um, this wasn't really very good. The uh, laser circlet plier set wasn't really man enough for the job. Only just managed to get the job done with those, but thankfully we did get it done safely. What comes next? Rear um, tail tidy is going to go on. Lose that big ugly mud guard off the back. Power commander's got to go on, and all the bodywork's got to go on. I want to just quickly show you also. I made a bit of a mistake on the last time, on the last video when I did the rear um, brake line fitting that. Let me show you what I mean. Right, if you remember back on the last one, um, I was saying that this line was too tight and maybe I had the footrest too far forward. Uh, well, what it is, Grizz had attached the hose so it kind of goes down and that way, as where really I should have just had the hose going like that straight out. Um, I'll take off the back of the I'll take off the footrest and show you and this is moving around when I'm bleeding it just because it's on there loosely because I've not um, put it in its final resting place yet I need to adjust the footrest yet let me show you clear more clearly what I mean about the uh, location of that hose on the back of the master cylinder right so basically the hose here is facing down I need to take it off, bleed out the system again, and I have it facing out this way, which will basically make it that bit longer. Um, but yeah, I need to do that. Right, so now I'm gonna drain out all the fluid out of the rear system and get that hose in the correct position, and then move on and also bleed out the front as well. And hopefully, all should be well, the brakes should be better. It's fingers crossed, I hope it works. Um, join me on the next one when we start getting it together. I think it's one last push to get it together now. And then uh, we can do the startup and we can go for a ride. Can't wait. Right, catch you on the next one. Cheers everyone, see ya, bye.